We have been championing for the rights of artists. So yes, we have kept our word, sir. And we are not keeping it for Eric. We are actually keeping it for the artists, visual and performing artists in the country, who actually have created a very robust um, creative economy. And it is known uh, to Kenyans that out of um, 100 shillings that every artist is making, 85% is being lost to piracy. So we have to keep protecting the laws that we have done before, including the Copyright Amendment Bill of 2018, which is protecting us against piracy. We shall guard it jealously. We are also supporting amendments that are bringing um, more royalties to the artists uh, through an amendment bill, Copyright Amendment 2021. So we will keep our word. Mweshimiwa Jude. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wanaomondi, uh, we have come to release you from the bondage that you are in. And we are going to support the art industry as much as we can. I am a former artist and I know how it feels. Maybe if it was a good industry, I would be in the same industry today, but I am not in it because it could not sustain me. I, I would like to be part and parcel of a system that creates a, a, an, an, an environment where our artists are able to thrive. So we shall support all the measures that are brought to the floor of the house to support our artists. I'm also the chairman of Economic Caucus, Parliamentary Caucus on Economy and Business. And we would like this to be a thriving business so that it can help build our economy and improve the economy of our country. So we shall support you, we shall support this cause because it's a cause that is going to improve the economy of our country and provide employment to our youth. You are doing the right thing. Keep it up. Okay, Eric Omondi, uh, as I had promised, I say that today, just uh, a few minutes after we have met, that this discussion will be on the floor of the house. And for sure, it has been on the floor of the house. We have introduced it, that we should play 70% of local contents on our audiovisual and all media houses so that we promote the local artists. We know that artists have employed so many youth and that they are, it is a thriving business is only because of uh, maybe piracy and so on. And uh, we are lucky that we have uh, the act in place and that it protect you and we'll guard it. Although there is an amendment by Glandes Wanga that uh, section 35 of the Copyright. Copyright Act should be amended, but we have said that we should shoot it down. And we have discussed with Gladys Wanga, she may drop it, but if she does not drop it, we will shoot it down because we must protect you from piracy. As I have said, we have uh, started the conversation. Jude Jomo is a, a former artist, uh, was there, and he actually uh, supported us. KJ, who is uh, your greatest supporter, and the supporter of the youth and the supporter of the artists decided to bring it on the floor of the house. And we all supported and the mood of the house indicate that the whole house is uh, supporting you. So uh, as I had said that once I've introduced it on the floor of the house, uh, I will come with a key and open you up so that you can go home and eat food. You thought that you will stay here for long, but now you have only stayed for almost two hours and everything has been done, so let me officially... Before, before the yes. Honorable Sankok opens, I think it is good for the world to know that um, Eric Komondi is doing this out of his own volition. And the good book reminds us of the story of the great man Moses. When Moses wanted to rescue the people of um, the Israelites from Egypt, he didn't know what to do. And... Um, when he was asked uh, to go out and, re and, re and rescue the people of Israel, he asked, what do I have? What do I have? And he was told, use what it is that you're holding. And he used his staff to liberate the people of Israel. Eric Komondi is using the talent that he has to, uh, to champion the rights of artists. So we are calling upon the artists to also agitate for their rights. Because unless you petition the institutions that make these de decisions. These institutions are deaf to your cries until you cry loud enough for them to hear you. So it, uh, Eric Komondi must be commended for doing that which industry players are fearing to do. So Eric Komondi, we commend your very innovative way of petitioning Bunge and Bunge has had 
your cry today. To the artists out there, please don't stay in a comfort zone. It is not comfortable when we realize that out of your efforts, 85% is being lost to piracy. We are reminded that the prize of freedom is eternal vigilance. So the artists will have to be eternally vigilant to make sure that their rights are not trampled upon. As Honorable Songkok has said, we shall take this opportunity that has been presented by Eric Omondi to champion for better royalties for artists, whether it is his Skiza tunes, whether it is View Sasa, or whichever other platform is carrying um, the artist's content. We are championing for more royalties for the artists. As we, sp as we speak, the platforms take a bigger share of the revenue. So we are asking all these platforms to respect our artists. Shamba ya artist ni idea zake. So you are shamba nayo yeshimiwe. As we are fighting for the coffee bill, as we are fighting for the tea bill, let us also fight for the creative economy. So as we are fighting for royalties, we also don't want to lose the gains we have made so far. So we are asking Gladys Wanga to respect the industry and to drop the amendments to section 35 so that we can protect our artists against piracy and protect our children from content that would promote terrorism, content that would promote uh, child pornography and other undesirable content. It is now my pleasure and honor to invite Honorable Sankok to fulfill the promise that he had made almost three hours ago, yes. that he shall liberate Eric from this bondage that he has been put into by legislation that hasn't been done and, yet. And let us remember as he does that, that these platform providers, whenever they are uh, screening and airing external or imported content, they are importing that content at the detriment, at the disadvantage of our local artists. Let us also have uh, our stations to be patriotic and air local content, even, we, even beyond the, requ the required remits, because that is the only way we can support our local art industry. Thank you. So now, on behalf of uh, Parliament, on behalf of uh, the Reduclus team, you know, KJ was known for Reduclus, and on behalf of all of us, I now officially take the key that I took here to come and officially release you from bondage <laughs> and release all the artists so that they can earn from their sweat. Now, officially, there will be 75% of local content being played in our media houses. Now you are officially released. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Asante sana, Mwishimiwa Sanko. I want to say thank you to Mwishimiwa uh, KJ. Mwishimiwa Jomo. Asante sana. Mwishimiwa Economy. Na Mwishimiwa KJ, I don't need to say anything about him. He's uh, one of the guys, when I was in Form 1, I started watching uh, Red Corner, the initial Red Corner. There were two Red Corners before. And there were two ridiculouses before there was a red corner. And I started watching uh, KJ, Wakiwa Wado KU, and I said, one day I'll, I'll, be, I'll come to Nairobi and I'll depart to TV. So, uh, when Martin Luther Lisema, my dreams were valid, and I came to, so, to see my dreams. Uh, well, this idea, who is your grandfather? Nyumu na juwa babangu na hituwa Churchill. Na ujuu baba Churchill ni nani? Uyu ndio baba ya Churchill, ya? So, I want to say thank you for releasing me as a good grandfather. Thank you, Bwana Sankok. Na mimi nilisema, as an artist, I am the most followed artist. And we know the power of social media. Actually, to some extent, it's beginning to take over from traditional media. I am going to repeat it here. That actions always speak louder than words. We are in an election year. Muneona ni mpizi wangapi wamekuja hapa nje. There are less than seven. Na sisemi kwa ubaya, wengine pengina wakua leo kwa session. But I just want to say, we have to give back to the society. They've given us, we have to return our hand. It shows its goodwill. It shows the heart of a man. It shows the mind of a man. Ndiyo mwishimi wa toke kwa gari yake, akuja hapa, nilete maji, akuja, mwishimi wa keji has brought me so many concerned uh, or relevant uh, MPs 
ameniletea mmoja anasema huyu ndiye kwa wa committee ina deal na communication something something which is our thing anatuletea uh, mheshimiwa hapa mwenye na deal of course Hancock ndiye ameitoa kwa jela asante sana nataka kusema ni asante na nataka tu kidogo tu eh wapi ngoma to dance to kenyan music kidogo tu kidogo tu and, uh, and uh, we need to pause Yes, yes. So that we oh, can yes. we can show the world what we are clamoring for. Yes. 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 As you can see, the issues of the youth and the issues of the artists are bipartisan. Yes. On the floor of the house, yes. we do not care whether you are a Zimio, whether you are uh, bottom up. If it, an, it is an issue that has to do with the youth of this country All or of. the creative economy, it is bipartisan. As you can see, the Honorable Jude Jomo of the Jomo Bill, uh, he's coming fresh from passing another very progressive bill in the House today, uh, the NITA Bill, which also supports uh, talent development uh, and is also the chairman of the Creative Economic Caucus. Is here, Honorable Songkok, Honorable Babu Owino, and myself, all from different uh, political, political uh, uh, persuasions, all here to support the cause of, um, of uh, pushing for the, uh, the growth of the creative economy. And we will not tire from thanking Eric Komondi for taking a cause and seeing it through. This is very well dramatized and that is the talent you have. You. So by dramatizing this, you have started a very important con conversation Asante. on play 75% Asante. local content. Mheshimiwa Babu, mheshimiwa Babu. Yes. Chama ni mongea lakini kuja ongea. Kuja ongea. Sisi wote tumesha ongea. Unajua hii kijana lazima aniheshimu. Hawezi ongea kabla sijaongea. I was a senior in uh, in Sonu leadership. So because I'm a senior you must ask the chairman if I have spoken, and if I have spoken, which I have done, now welcome. Tiko sawa chairman. Tiko sawa.